real-time character creation for animation, film, and games is becoming more prevalent, Relation Character Creator has not only championed the ease of character creation for artists, but has also provided more ways to customize and deploy 3D character models. With the recent release of Character Creator 4.1, which doubles down on the features initially introduced in Character Creator 4.0, Character Creator has not only moved on to become an impressive DCC tool for 3D humanoid characters, but has also leveled in for stylistic character creation, rigging, and pre-animation testing. And with version 4.1 aimed to overcome more difficulties artists would encounter while rigging characters for animation, exporting to more tools, and maintaining a good level of detail, this new update is poised to help artists work more efficiently. As a free rigging tool, AccuRig is Relution's independent rigging system which is used in generating full body and finger rigs for biped characters with a few clicks. This wonderful tool is now fully integrated into Character Creator 4.1 in its most advanced form. And with the built-in AccuRig system, CC 4.1 can now create animation-ready characters from any static mesh in seconds. Previously, rig characters could be re-rigged based on the character's existing skeleton joint, which offered an optimized rigging system with preserved facial joints for facial animation. And with the new AccuRig implementation, character proportions can now be altered after it's been rigged, which gives artists more creative control. Additionally, character templates can be saved for reuse with other characters. And for characters with clothing and props, character artists can now choose to append those as hard surfaces, apply and paint skin weights on them so they follow deformation or simply use physics to drive cloth dynamics. And with character creator known for its high quality looks, in most cases these might be needed for film which might also demand extreme close-up shots and this requires the character to be hyper realistic. And with the new decimate and subdivision export options, hyperrealistic actors cannot be used for films and games without compromise to real-time performance due to an enhanced subdivision export combined with a flexibly generated level of detail which can be seen in three new presets, namely Actor Build, Level of Detail 1, and Level of Detail 2. These are made for characters to be seen up close, in mid distance, and also background. Since achieving best quality regardless of the position of the model in space is paramount, this brings everything full circle. And for artists who like to customize the decimation, the decimation tool also offers a couple of options that would allow artists preserve certain parts of the model and decimate the other ones. This new addition will bring about a better quality mesh exports for specific needs and for artists looking for extremely cleaned out geometry, the new use subdivide mesh can now subdivide jagged silhouettes for quad based rigged and unrigged characters. This in turn will provide a much more smoother looking surface, enhanced details and a more refined looking shading. Decisions about how much level of detail and if you would like to get the textures baked or not and the details that you will need for your meshes can be decided during export. These subdivision options are currently available on FBX, OBJ, and USD export formats only. With the advent of rich quality hair in Character Creator, mesh hair became a thing of the past, and with new development comes new problems. With Character Creator 4.0, characters were not able to deform with the head hair. Unlike the eyebrow and the beards, the hair too had no skin weight, and this led to hair penetration during facial expressions as the hairline around the forehead does not move along with the facial muscles. But all that is about to change as CC 4.1 now introduced the conforming hair on head with weight painting feature. This new option now allows artists to assign facial hair vertex on specific parts of the model. This can be done both manually and automatically. But whichever route the artist chooses to take, this will result to a better looking facial motion than we had previously. With character creator polishing the need to bring templates, bridges, and plugins to creators, the idea to maintain pose and body scale of the character is now preserved when importing via mutual bridges like ZBrush and so on. The content manager now supports such is based on animation tags with options to rebuild the content library on a new machine and also import and export tags. Character creator now supports batch importing on OBJ files as they deal with adjusting expressions for characters. As we know, in order to modify a facial expression of a pre-built model in character creator for standard or humanoid characters, you can simply export the characters in OBJ format, edit the OBJ files with any 3D tool of choice such as Maya, Blender, 3D Studio Max and so on, and use the batch import feature provided by the facial profile editor to update the existing slider or even create a new one. This would allow for a bit more flexibility for artists thinking about making their own modifications on characters rather than sticking with what comes with character creator. Although this round trip might not be so necessary for most artists, but will be quite necessary for artists looking at using these characters outside animation or rendering tools that support mesh editing. 
So, this is more like it. For those who would like to take a look at Character Creator 4.1, or probably you would like to get Accurig or take a look at some of the cool things that you can get from the folks at Relution, links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.